All right, welcome back to all play. We just saved Taya from Merrick's evil clutches. Now we've got to go after Joey because he's gone after him first. Let's go save him, Taya. I lost the last time because I underestimated you. I won't make that mistake again. I will not lose to the likes of you. All right, you ghouls, let's go. I'll take you both on myself. I don't need a teammate. I'm a badass. <laughs> ah, I lost. Oh wait, this is to determine who goes first. All right, you clowns. <sighs> they played one monster face down and two magic and or trap cards. I'll draw. Let's see, we have Mooka Mooka, who gains attack and defense based on how many cards are in my hand. Another giant rat. Giant Trunade. Black Illusion Ritual. Cure Mermaid. And Skull Limitation. This is probably going to be a hard match. Let's start strong. I'll play one trap card face down. And I'll play one monster in face down defense mode. And I'll end my turn. Alright, they play one monster face down. What I'll do is I'll activate my trap card, Skull Invitation. Whenever a card is sent to any graveyard, its owner takes 300 damage to their life points. Right. They destroyed my giant rat, so I'm gonna take 300, but that's okay because I can special summon a monster to the field. Anything that has the earth attribute. And I'll pick Millennium Shield. It comes in an attack mode, but you can't do anything about that. I'll draw for my turn. And then I'll switch Millennium Shield into defense mode. Let's see. I drew Sinju with a thousand hands, which allows me to get one ritual monster card from my library or from my deck. I can use that to pull Relinquish and then play him, but I want to wait a little bit. I want to play that right away. Uh, there's nothing else I can play though that'll stand up to his uh, his Force Raider, his 1900 attack points. I'll play Giant Trunade! It sends back all magic and trap cards to their owner's hand. Then I'll set one trap card. Bet you guys can't guess who it is. I'll end my turn. Uh-oh. He's sacrificing a card for another. That's not good. It's going to be something stronger. And he sets everything in defense mode and puts those two Magicka Trap cards back face out. I draw, and I'll play one Trap card face down. Let's see. I'll summon Senju of the Thousand Hands. Uh, its effect lets me pull one ritual monster from my deck and put it in my hand. I choose Relinquished. Let's see if I can set off one of those traps. His Voice Raider's defense can't withstand uh, Sinju with a thousand hands attack. Alright, time for an attack. I'll send you with a thousand hands attack your Voice Raider. And he flips over Mask of Weakness. Mask of Weakness uh, takes away 700 attack points from its target. Uh, let's see. I think I'll just have to take that this time. Oh, it took away 700, not 300. That's not bad. All right, I'll end my turn. We need to see what that card was that he put face down. He sets one monster and flips over Spike Seedra. It's not as big as I thought it would be. All right, Spike Seedra attacks Senju. If it goes through, I'll be taking 200. But if not, then Borch Raider will attack it. I'll take 400, 500 instead. I'll have to take that small bit. All right. A draw. Could make a case for that voice raider. 
I just need this to go off with no problems. I need that trap card to not activate. Okay. I'll play Black Illusion Ritual! It allows me to sacrifice any monster, any single monster. I'll sacrifice Mooka Mooka in order to play Relinquished! Now I'll use Relinquished's first ability. It lets me take control of any one of your monsters and use it as Relinquished uh, attack and defense points as an equipped monster. I'll take Force Raider. What's in his hand? He has three cards in his hands. And I drew card destruction, which allows me to have both of us throw away our hands and draw that many cards. I think I'll end my turn there. No missing number, you clowns. Summon Skull. Oh no, it has more attack points than a good old Relinquish does. He needs to attack and relinquish. What I'll do before the attack goes through is I'll activate Magic Cylinder, which negates the attack and you take damage based on your attacker's attack points. All right, now we're in the lead. All right, my turn, I'll draw. Ceremonial Bell, that's not a bad card. As long as it's face up, it allows both of us to see each other's hands. I'll put it, I'll play one monster face down and then I'll attack your summon skull with my relinquish. It has less attack points, but we both take the damage of the difference. We both take 600, and I lose the force raider that's connected to it, but I keep relinquished. Now, I'll switch out of battle phase, and I'll use relinquish ability to now take summon skull. All right, we're doing good. Did I play? Yes, I played, sir. I played that card face down this turn. All right, I'll end my turn. All right, he played one monster face down. Soul release. I could have used soul release last game. Let's see. I have nothing that can let me flip this, see his hand, and then move on. Let's see, let's take out. I'll have my relinquish attack your Spike Cedra. Uh oh. Mirror Force! That's not good! It's gonna take out Relinquished! And he's gone for good now. Ugh. Oh, good move. That's gonna have to do better than that. I'll oh, end my turn. Tarpy's Feather Duster! Oh no, it's gonna get rid of all my magic and trap cards! Skull Invitation is gone now. Call of the Haunted. That'll let me pull back Relinquished. But it's risky, because now there's another way to get rid of it. Let's see. I'll hold that for just a moment. Uh, I don't have to activate it right away. I'll play one trap card face down and I'll end my turn! Ugh. He's got four monsters in defense mode now. I'll draw. The Fire Princess. Let's see. Fire Princess and Cure Mermaid, they work together. Cure Mermaid heals, and then when I heal, Fire Princess deals damage. Only problem is we're not strong enough to be able to withstand attacks like that. I'll end my turn! Force Raider is back. Uh oh, that's not good. All right, Force Raider's attacking Ceremonial Bell. I'm gonna have to let it happen. All right, he destroyed for, uh, Ceremonial Bell. Now's actually a perfect time. And as a result of you destroying Ceremonial Bell, I activate Call of the Haunted. It allows me to pull back one monster from my graveyard and put it into play. I call for Relinquished. Try this again. I'll draw. And I'll set one monster in face down defense mode. And I'll activate Relinquish's ability and take your Force Raider. Now, we'll switch into battle mode. Relinquish will attack your Spike Cedra. Two for the price of one. I'll end my turn. Ugh, four face down defense monsters, that's not good. 
let's see, Messenger of Peace. Messenger of Peace means I have to pay 100 life points at the beginning of each of my turns. However, if I do, as long as this is in play, uh, monsters with 1,500 attack points or more can attack. That's pretty good. That'll keep Cure Mermaid and Fire Princess safe. Actually, I think we can do that. Let's see. Cure Mermaid gives 800 attack uh, life points. I think we can afford that. Let's play Cure Mermaid in attack mode. And then follow it up with Messenger of Peace. And I'll end my turn. Alright, four face down defense mode monsters. That's pretty good. Alright, I'll also play Fire Princess in attack mode. We'll be fine now. As long as I can switch it to defense mode, we'll be fine. Oh, end my turn! Uh oh, Celtic Guardian is coming for the Fire Princess, too. Ugh. I didn't expect to see that. Mask of Brutality. It made it stronger, but now it can't attack. Why would they do that? You have to pay a thousand life points at the beginning of each standby to keep it in play? What's going on in their head? Ugh. Soul release. Soul release will come in handy once I get Grave Robber's Retribution, or Graveyard's Retribution. Oh, in my turn! Because a thousand, they're just gonna waste away. Summon skulls here. All right. I'm gonna end my turn. Another thousand points for the mask of brutality. And I'll draw. I will end my turn. Miss an Umbra, what are you up to? I'll play one trap card face down and I'll end my turn. Alright, the mask is gone. Oh, Heavy Storm! That's what they were planning! Magic Jammer! I need you to activate now! I have to discard one card. I'll throw away Marie, the fallen one, who likes to be in the graveyard. All right, Heavy Storm does not activate. Switch the Guardian to the fifth mode and play one trap card. I'll draw. Let's see. We have all the life gain happening. I'll play this card face down. If I could have, actually, I can use it on Relinquish and end the game. Let's see, I need a backup plan in case something goes wrong. See, this costs, what, 100? This costs 100 life points, and Marie being in my graveyard gives me 200, so it's paying for itself. Uh, I'll end my turn! What I'll do is I'll use it on Relinquish, I'll use Blood Destruction on Relinquish, and end the game. I'll draw! Alright, on my turn! I'll flip over Bell of Destruction, and I choose... Relinquished! Who has just enough like attack points to take you out? Oh, another battle! We're doing alright, we're trying to save our friends! Loomis and Umbra, get out of my way! You think you're big stuff, don't you? Well, the bigger they are, the harder they fall! You lost that time because you were fool enough to use that card! Alright. <sighs> They're taking all my energy from me, but we're gonna save our friend Joey. Next time. If you guys enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that little red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll catch you guys next time.
If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe so that you can see more as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching.